hello everyone welcome back to tall tales custom tackles um we're gonna go ahead and get right in it um i already got the plastic heated up i got two cups each um i already got some molds loaded um i had a request to show uh technically i i at first i wasn't going to but i mean it's i mean somebody wanted to see how i make my uh falcon late falcon crawls um but anyway we're gonna make a quick little video on that it's a uh, falcon lake crawl two cups each i'll i'll show you the formula i use for mine uh everybody's got their own formula uh you know every company like major company that makes it they have their own formula so i mean every person that makes it they're gonna have a little bit different variation of how it looks but anyway we're gonna uh we're gonna get right into it let me see if I can get this angled where you can see what's going on. Alright. Like I said, we got two cups already heated up. We're going to start with the bottom color first. Uh, and if you ain't got these exact same colors, you can always... You can always, um, you know vary a little bit let me see i might be able to angle you a little bit better so you can get a more bird's eye view of of what i'm doing here there we go all right my first one i'm going to start out with is a uh is actually a cherry red uh shake it up a little bit if you ain't got lure works cherry red like i say just just improvise but this requires 40 drops for what I use. All right, and that's, like I was saying, that's a lot of cherry red because cherry red is a, uh, is a beast of a color but this is just my you know this is my formula for it so you can improvise and make it all you want any way you want because cherry red has a has kind of like a cherry cough syrup look but once you add like regular red to it 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 changes it up i gotta order some more red uh in the red i use a 30 drops um uh, and this is your regular dead on. Uh, if all you have is Lure Works or Bait Plastics brand, I mean, I'm sure it'll work. Just improvise and make it your own. Four, five, six, seven, eight, And sometimes you might mess up and it might drop two extra drops at the last second i mean i don't i personally don't never worry about it if it drops any extra i mean i it ain't gonna make that big of a deal um and right there you got a real bright you know red look um i always tone it down there we go i tone it down and i add two drops of just straight black just to tone it a little bit you want that red to pop but at the same time you want the dull down just a little bit one two all right and that black two drops is not going to do a whole lot but it it dulls it just enough you see how it darkens it up And you can always sometimes i might not even follow my what i got written down right here my formula i mean sometimes i might decide all right i want to add three drops so i mean you ain't got to stick to that every time you know i will vary it a little bit all right on this side medium gold um i do like a half of a scoop but at the same time if you ain't got you know sometimes like this is yellow gold sometimes i might use a chartreuse gold color a yellow gold a regular gold 
uh, you know, just whatever you feel like using. There we go, about a half of a scoop, which technically is a about a 1 16th. All right, and then a medium red on this side. About the same, uh, about a half of a, about a half of a scoop, you know. I mean, I got multiple size, you know, I got one sixteenth, one eighth, all the way up to like full, you know, full one, like one tablespoon scoops, but I always just use that one eighth and vary it, you know. And like this side right here, I don't put much flake in. I just put just enough to, so you can see what's going on. The other side, I add a lot more flake, but you know, if you're making it, you can you can put however much flake you want in it i mean and it all depends i mean if you're making it for a customer and your customer won't say uh you know one that's just loaded you can do it however you know he wants or you uh this and like i say this is one of my favorite colors i don't know if that's showing this is dark watermelon from ml uh, this side is 60 drops. Sometimes the tips will get clogged up, and you ain't gotta be exact. I mean, a lot of times I'll just I'll just pour it in there, but just for the video standpoint, I'll I'll go over what I'm doing. All right, 60 drops. Stir it up. All right, next is a green pumpkin. I'm getting low on this one, but this is a uh, and you can use any brand. I'm just trying to use up the last of this little bottle of uh, Dead On Plastics Green Pumpkin. Um, 15 drops. Now, if you go from, say, Dead On to, like, Bait Plastics, uh, you'll probably want to vary that because Bait Plastics is super thick. So, if I'm using 15 of this, I probably wouldn't use but about 7 or 8 of the Bait Plastics. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, that should be about... 15 or 16 but some brands when you you go from say one uh brand to another a lot of them has a uh you know they might have a different hue to them they might be a lot thicker i mean the uh bait plastics colors i like them um they are very thick you know like ml MF, I like MF also. MF is a uh, little bit thinner. You know, it usually takes a little more. All right, on this side, I'm going to go with some black. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And right there, we went with uh, six drops. Sometimes I'll only do four, but that's really just going to darken it up more. And when these two colors laminate together, you know, it'll, it'll make this side pop more and the other side pop more i mean they they laminate together really good you know and that just that makes it almost like a real dark green pumpkin but the uh that dark watermelon adds kind of like a brownish you know little tint to it which really looks good all right on the flake side these are going to get a full one eighth scoop so a full one eighth of medium red We'll go ahead and do a a one eighth a micro size, real small, or the smallest you got, red. That's all. Um, a full one of the gold. medium black um 
black is probably the most used color flake I have. I mean, I use black flake more than any other color. All right, we're going to give this a good stir. Then we're going to pop them both back in the microwave, get them back up to temperature. Because while they're sitting here, you know, they're, they're cooling off. I got the fan going, so that's cooling it off even more. So we're going to get them both back up to temperature. Then we're going to shoot it and let you see how it's going to look. Stir this one back up before we pop it in the microwave. Then while this is heating up, I guess I'll do my usual talking. I mean, if you follow the channel, you, uh, you probably already know. I will, I will damn sure run my mouth. All right, let's get this right here angle back up using my bigger uh my my bigger um little tripod for the camera this one actually it stands up pretty high um so i'm using it anyway um i'm gonna shoot the ecto crawl and then i'll um i'll probably shoot the h crawl i got them both loaded the 12 ounces is not enough to shoot all four of them um for one those h crawls take about 10 solid ounces to fill up both of them so um 12 ounce i wouldn't even attempt it on trying to do all four of them so we'll probably shoot the ecto crawl first and then i'll pop it back in the microwave for a few seconds clean out the injectors then we'll go ahead and shoot the h crawl and take all four of them out at, you know show you all four of them then we'll wrap the video up so uh, anyway i i was hoping by now i would i got a, a mold coming in i know everybody has probably seen it by now because it's been out for a, a little while it was actually introduced by um um the first time i saw it was on chris jones's uh channel the uh action worm it's, i think it's like a 3.6 inch action uh bait so i i'd order that mold uh a couple weeks ago and um the last email i got said it was in production so i'm i was hoping it would uh be ready by now but i'm sure it'll be ready any day i know they're with the extra um with their extra machines they got you know their cutters their uh cnc cnc machines or whatever they call them damn things they're able to to knock them out a lot faster so hopefully any day that uh that'll be shipped and ready um because I want to play with it a little bit and some of the colors that I make and some of my other baits that I really think will look good in that one um that my triple injector I I was hoping by now it would be ready and ship but uh I contacted him and he uh Marty said it would be anytime hopefully this week and I still ain't still ain't uh heard anything I, I know he's getting tired of me He's probably getting tired of me uh, contacting him by now because I contact him every every uh, week about it. These gonna need another minute, but I contact him every week about it, and uh, he's probably probably getting tired of me. I mean, I know he's got a lot going on. You see him post a uh, you see him post about it. You know, showing like updates on people he's sending. You know people he's sending invoices to and uh you know he's he's got a lot on his plate it uh with the amount of size customer base he's got he really needs to either hire some people to um to help him out or do something to try to speed up you know speed up his uh process because you know he he tries to tell people anywhere from 14 to 20 days or something like that i ordered mine right now makes 34 or 35 days ago and it still is not it still ain't you know when he uh he'll show a picture of his the people that's next on the list mine still ain't on that list so um uh, it's probably gonna be like last time i ordered uh last time i ordered from him it really took 
close to about 45 days. I mean, it was seriously a a month and a half. I mean, it was a a long time. So it's I'm afraid it's going to be like that. But you know what? It's all good. Um, I mean, Bass Tackle they ain't never got any in stock. So I mean, I can't. I really honestly cannot complain. Uh, the temperature on those was around 350, so I'm gonna let them sit for just a few seconds. Um, and then go from there. Sorry, I had somebody respond or uh, ask me a question. I was trying to respond to them, so there we go. But anyway, I, I was letting this sit for just a second. Like I say, it had, uh, they were both around 350. So, give them a few seconds to sit. The temperature, a grassly come down when it shoots into the injector and then goes into the molds. The temperature will actually drop way down. All right. And these right here don't take near as much plastic, so. Because honestly, I could probably, I will try, I can probably do at least one of these. Yep. But we're not going to try for two. Like those H crawls, they really, with them being a six cavity, not a four cavity, they, they, uh, they drink a lot of plastic. Always remember, and I know it's repetitive because I say it in every single video, top your sprue off because the last thing you want is to have your, your sprue sink down to your first bait and you end up with a, a void, a, a hollow cavity because uh, that bait's pretty much wasted in my opinion at that point. All right, top this one off one more time. And I'll clean out the injector real quick and shoot that one. Of course I could and instead of doing that I could technically just you know show what those six and those eight look like in a minute I mean but I might go ahead and do that. Uh, I might just talk to you for a second while I'm cleaning this out and then show you what these look like and we will wrap this video up and try to keep it in the 20 minute range you know low 20s and not the mid 30s uh, so that there we'll give that like a couple minutes while we're we're just sitting here talking and and discussing some stuff but um anyway i got a couple other new colors i made this week that um uh, well, a different variation. I, I have a color that I do uh, sun yield. And um, it's a good good looking color, but then I I made a new version of sun yield a few days ago, and it actually turned out really well. Oh, I already packed. Never mind, I already packaged them up. Yep. They were. Um, it was for a custom order and I uh, I already packaged them up. I thought maybe I might have had a couple extras because usually I, when I shoot orders, most of the time I always have extras. Uh, that's why, honestly, if you look, I mean, I got way, I got extras down there. Extras. All of these trays are pretty much where when i'm shooting well that's from a video but all most of them are from extras i shoot you know every one of these and once in a while what i'll do is like with my with my overflow there's one order but uh with my overflow a lot of times i'll i'll let them add up build up and then i will either throw them on the auction you know like if i got 12 of this color 12 of that color you know vice break it down sometimes i'll throw them in an auction or um or i'll even just 
give them away sometimes i mean i use a lot of them myself but you know i'll give some to my dad or you know maybe if i got a well i got a, a friend that i gotta make him up a little box of bait so i got a bunch set to the side for him all right let me move this out the way we are gonna go ahead and look at these and see see how they look I hadn't made this color in a while. There for a little while, I was making it all the time. I mean, I was getting order and just getting slammed with orders for this uh, this color. But uh, I haven't done this color in the Ecto Crawl yet, so I was curious about it. I know how it looks in the H Crawl. Um, it looks really good. The H Crawl versus a lot of your other crawl baits, the body, and I'll show you in just a second. The uh, the body on the H crawl. Let me angle you down. And get one of these. All right, now that looks good. Looks real good. All right, let me just break one of these off break one of these off and I'll pick you up and get you under the light but turn it over you got that red look and you can see the the flake you don't have near as much on the bottom as the top I mean you can really see that but now here's what I was getting at about this one I mean these right here look really good these have a thinner body you know so and these are thicker body so a lot of times um what i'll say about the what i'll say about the h crawl versus a lot of your standard size crawls is since the body is thinner certain colors that you're trying to laminate especially if they're uh, more translucent thinner colors um they got a tendency to just like you see in like the claws of just like the claws in some of these baits the thinner your bait the more the closer those colors are to each other and they will tend to show through more you know what i mean like um you see you got the top color and bottom color but then when you look at them especially look them up high it don't matter how thick you make them the, because it's a thin bait it's just like how you see in the claws where one color you can see the color on both sides you get that a lot with these thinner baits but they're such a awesome bait and that color is uh, is a really cool color and you can change it up any way you want I mean it's a very popular color alright I'm going to hurry up and quit running my mouth we're going to pop this other one out and then i will let you go and quit running my mouth so much we'll just hold this one up i mean perfect perfect laminates i mean right down the side I mean perfect all the way down even if you look at the claws I mean it's just split perfect down the middle but uh, anyway I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep on running my mouth I mean we're at 24 minutes now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this I'll, I'll put a few of these in my hand and, and lay them out real quick so you can see them but uh here's another view of that one throw them in the bath all right we'll do these ectos real quick throw you a little a little shot of those and then we are gonna oh about drop one and we are gonna wrap this video up. And look at there, we are gonna be under 30 minutes.
Uh, now, like I said in this uh, video, this is this is the formula I use. Uh, change it up. I mean, you it, it's you know it's good to change up stuff. Sometimes you ain't got to do a exact copy of other people. I, if I see a color that I really like, that you know, even if I see a picture of one or something like that, and I really like it, a lot of times I'm going to try not to copy it exact you know what i mean i want to put my own twist to it you know it, it might it'll give you an idea you know oh man i can i can make that color but instead of using you know instead of it being that bright or that dull you know I, change it up a little bit put a different flake in it do something to uh make it pop a little bit i mean even if you just change the red a little bit you know change the you know not saying you can't make this exact you can make it to the t the way i just said um you know if you want to use what i just showed you and the same color same drops go right ahead i mean that's fine but i mean just learn to change things up learn to try to take that and build your own color and you know see where it takes you but anyway we're going to go ahead and wrap this up everybody that's uh subscribed to the channel everybody that's you know been watching my my stuff uh sometimes they can get a little long-winded i mean i really do appreciate everybody that has subscribed and has stuck it out with me so far and you know just bear with me we'll we'll get better at this you know i, I do tend to make 40 50 minute long videos sometimes this one is actually going to be under 30 minutes and you know i'm i'm working on that um anyway thank you uh share it to your social uh your social media outlets share it to facebook tell a friend about it you know we're, we're trying to grow it um but anyway that's all we'll have another one coming up hopefully within this week or hopefully as soon as i get this other mold and we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and uh try to shoot some fun stuff i might even try to build a new color and and we'll see what we come up with but anyway thank you and we'll catch you next time